Hello, welcome to this podcast. Today I would like to talk to you about how you can defy fate. Because remember, in life, there is only no one way that life is going to happen. Because sometimes, you know, we're supposed to believe, you know, a lot of people, they just believe that life is going to happen one certain way. There's only one fucking plan for life. You know, there's a book and it's supposed to happen exactly that way. But no, it's not like that. Because let's say you get a prediction, all right, that you're going to get into a really awful relationship in the future. (laughs) And what can happen is that you cannot accept it, okay? There is something called free will. It's real, yeah? It's real. Free will is there. You can change your destiny by the decisions you make. And you cannot accept it, you know, by not accepting it, which also means that you have decided to take a different turn in life, yeah? That one way which you were told to go, you didn't take it. So it's like you get a challenge, but you don't go through it, you know, you don't go accept it and then you go through the rest of the challenge. It's like you take a default route to get to the same result which you're supposed to be in after you accept the challenge it's kind of like that so let's say you uh you know dodge this relationship okay you you like decide to take a no for the um you know question you know and then what happens is that you're supposed to get certain obstacles which should be similar to what you were supposed to go through if you were got into that relationship. Yeah, it could be similar in a certain manner, but it's not exactly identical. But you go through those obstacles and then you get into a point where you are more evolved because of those obstacles, because that is what happens. But sometimes you just need not accept everything which comes your way. Sometimes you just can not go through it. You can just go under it or above it and not take the challenge itself. Sometimes you just can say no and still improve. Maybe the route will be different. Maybe it will involve you losing certain opportunities. But believe me, you will always become a better person in the end. In some way or the other, you will be enriched, empowered by the end of all of those obstacles because as a soul when it comes to life we evolve every day yeah and then we also have something called free will and that means free will means we listen to ourselves that is what it means we listen to our intuition and we do not accept anything which does not identify with our soul you know for that you need to know who you are i think that's the most important thing if you have a strong sense of strong willpower of who you are and not accepting anything which you do not deserve that's how you're gonna go right yeah that's how you're gonna improve more than you ever was supposed to improve because sometimes most of us are not you know sometimes we can look into the future you know like we can uh you know have that idea when something comes to you an opportunity a person uh anything you know you can you just have an idea you know that's called intuition to be honest and the way you can completely work with your intuition is actually to meditate and also to sun gaze you know uh yeah that's actually important that way you know when you worship the sun and allow the sun rays to hit your Uh, third eye that actually clears out the cloudiness and you tend to become more forward thinking you tend to be able to predict things and see things for what they really are but but what what happens is that when you have a feeling of how things are gonna go you know there is always something you you can do that is listen to yourself listen to your feelings and just act.
just listen to yourself. That is free will. You're listening to yourself rather than allowing life to take you wherever it wants to take you. It's about having a strong will, actually. It's about being stubborn. You know, people are so much told not to be stubborn, you know. But when you look into the um, story of Lord Buddha, he decided to defy all odds and go on a journey of becoming an, a, a, an ascetic, you know. He decided to leave his whole home, family, everything, and decided to go on his own way. That's because he was stubborn, you know. He didn't allow anyone else's opinion to affect him. And that very did leave him to become. He became enlightened and so powerful. So it shows, even that story itself shows that sometimes stubbornness is absolutely necessary. If you want to go forward in life and if you want to become your truest version of yourself and the best version of yourself, you've got to be stubborn and you've got to listen to yourself. And with time, maybe you'll just have, you know, like, let's say you piss someone off or you hurt someone's feelings by not uh, listening to you, by listening to yourself. Okay, that karma will come, okay, in a different way, let's say. But there is nothing more beautiful than becoming stubborn, accepting yourself and actually listening to yourself and making the decisions that you want to make. It will never go wrong. Yeah, it will take you to a place where you'd be actually more fulfilled than you ever was. And actually, I think that is a mode to defy fate, you know, to accept a different life path. Accept different challenges and a different life because you just do not go the way which was you know fated to happen you just choose a different path a different fate you can shift to a different path but I think the main important thing is to just be stubborn you know listen to yourself for once <laughs> yeah because most of us are just supposed to just not listen at all to ourselves but if you do it'll take you, you to a better place you'll be rewarded i think that's what i think if you take it pride in yourself if you have a strong will and if you just listen to yourself then life will reward you because you will have a better transformation to be honest so yeah well, that's all i want to say thank you for tuning in